welcome to another video here at Ridge Lawson Pianos. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Yamaha's AnyoneX, uh, which is one of the models in Yamaha's Avant Grand series. So these are um, hybrid pianos, meaning they're fully digital, uh, but have actual hammer actions uh, inside. So do really replicate the uh, feel, the touch of an acoustic instrument. Uh, the AnyoneX is the um, upright piano version uh, within that series. So in this video I'm going to be talking about exactly how that works and um, all of its other features as well. So with the AnyoneX you have um, an upright vertical action inside with real hammers. Um, being an upright action, uh, the AnyoneX is the most compact uh, by far um, of all the instruments in the Avant Grand range. Um, as with any acoustic piano, you've got the very heaviest, largest hammers at the bottom, low bass, and then uh, gradually uh, becoming uh, lighter and, and smaller, getting towards the top. So every note is individually weighted uh, with this instrument. Um, obviously no strings inside, uh, being a digital piano so you can turn the volume up and down uh, as much as you need. Uh, instead your uh, touch is being detected by uh, non-contact optical sensors um, underneath the keyboard um, as you have with Yamaha's Clavinova range. So with the AnyoneX you have an action uh, that replicates as close as possible uh, to the feel, the responsiveness that you get with an acoustic piano. Um, that's also the case with the uh, right pedal, the damper pedal. Uh, so in addition to allowing for half pedaling, even quarter pedaling, it's highly responsive uh, damper pedal. Um, it also eases the action, so that's something that happens with acoustic pianos. When you depress the right pedal, uh, the action eases slightly, you get a, just a subtle change in uh, resistance. And that's the case here as well, when you press down the damper pedal, it becomes a little bit easier to bring out a fuller, uh, and just a louder sound, a more powerful sound. One of the main differences between the AnyoneX and its predecessor, the Any1, is in the uh, choice of samples that you have. So with the Any1, you just had a Yamaha CFX uh, concert ground sample. With the AnyoneX, you've got that one, and also the Bosnor for Imperial concert ground, so a very different uh, tonal character. It's really great to have uh, that contrast and choice of the two. Uh, lots of other sounds on here as well. Um, but yeah, with the sample in both cases, um, every note has been individually sampled and at every uh, possible dynamic level. Um, in addition to that, you've got uh, virtual resonance modeling. Uh, so that means that uh, when you're playing, the computer inside is able to respond to um, the exact touch you're using moment to moment. So it's never going to sound the same uh, twice. So uh, really replicating uh, what happens in an acoustic piano, so how the different elements of an acoustic piano interacts with the strings, the soundboard, the frame and so on. Uh, so it really does give you uh, a high authentic um, acoustic sound. So that sound is being delivered through two very powerful speakers uh, within uh, the piano. So you're getting uh, yeah, just a really resonant and rich and colorful sound uh, with this instrument. When it comes to using headphones with the AnyoneX, uh, the level of realism is again really high. Uh, that's because the uh, sampling of the, uh, certainly the CFX has been done binaurally. Uh, so that means that in, in addition to having microphones around the piano in the kind of conventional places uh, when recording the CFX, uh, they also have um, a dummy head in front of the keyboard uh, with microphones in the ears. So when you use headphones, you really do get the uh, illusion, this impression uh, of the piano being right in front of you. So it gives you a, yeah, a very three-dimensional and spacious sound. The control panel of the NUNX is situated on the left cheek block, and that gives you access to all the features of the piano. Um, however, you can connect uh, to Yamaha Smart Pianist app uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, that again gives you access to all the features, and perhaps it's a little bit easier to use as well. Uh, so this is the home page of the Smart Pianist app, the uh, piano room. Uh, so with this I can uh, obviously uh, change the uh, piano sound I want. So this is the uh, CFX ground sample. I can move that across to the Bosdorf Imperial. Uh, I've also got a couple of other piano sounds on here as well. A smaller uh, studio grand and uh, an upright piano as well. Uh, within the piano room um, I can go into much more detail uh, changing the uh, little sort of nuances uh, of the sound and the action. Uh, so that's in the top right here. And um, yeah, so here I've got access to essentially all the different things uh, you'd be able to change with an acoustic piano. Uh, so you've got yeah, the touch uh, sensitivity, uh, the kind of environment, uh, you want the uh, reverb depth, in other words. Um, yeah, the tuning. Uh, VRM, so that's the virtual resonance modeling I mentioned, so you can turn that um, on or off. Uh, damper resonance, string resonance uh, levels, so yeah, it's just uh, make it make the uh, string sound 
uh, more or less resonant there. Um, Alco resonance, body resonance, uh, pedal uh, sensitivity there as well. So yeah, a huge amount of uh, detailed options uh, there. Um, I can change the uh, instrument completely, uh, top left corner here, uh, voice, uh, so if I let's click on the image there, so uh, yeah, you've got different instrument groups uh, to choose from, uh, it's electric piano, so you've got uh, different uh, types of electric piano there, similarly with uh, yeah, keyboard organ, you can also layer different sounds uh, together. Uh, I've got access to uh, metronome as well, uh, which you can play obviously through the instrument, um, so as you'd expect, you can change the uh, tempo, the number of beats uh, per bar, and so on. I've got access to a few other settings uh, from the uh, utility menu here. So um, I can change the key uh, up or down uh, in the transposition uh, menu here. Uh, so that's particularly uh, useful if you're accompanying a singer, for instance. Uh, tuning again, uh, change that very slightly up or down. Uh, keyboard uh, sensitivity. Uh, pedal sensitivity uh, there as well and with the sound setting part there you can uh, turn on or off uh, binaural uh, through the headphones um, also in this uh, menu here the system menu you've got access to uh, manual uh, you can um, upgrade the software from here as well uh, you've got FAQ section it's quite useful there as well uh, the Yamaha NU1X has um, really amazing connectivity uh, potential. So in addition to having um, Bluetooth capability, as you saw with the app, um, you've also got um, audio jacks for further amplification. If you did want to uh, play the instrument in a, perhaps a larger space, uh, you've also got USB connection uh, for uh, connecting to either smart devices um, or computers. Then you can use the uh, instrument as, effectively as a MIDI controller, so you can use it with uh, different software such as uh, Cubase, Sibelius and so on. In terms of appearance, the NU1X is uh, very similar in appearance to an upright piano. It has a very uh, sleek and elegant design. This particular one's in polished ebony, it's available in polished white as well. Um, it has uh, quite a long music desk for uh, large uh, sheet music books. And full board is uh, soft close, uh, which is a feature of uh, many high-end uh, modern upright pianos. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you had any questions about the Yamaha NU1X or about any of our pianos, uh, then you can contact us via our website, which is richardlawsonpianos.com. Mm -hmm.